Who Goes Here was conceived from an, the invitation I had to make a work at the barracks, uh, which had to be an exterior work um, around the barracks building. And I wanted to do something which represented uh, aspects of convict history, which most of us don't really know about. So Who Goes Here refers to the 300 individuals represented in the artwork. Fiona Hall is our artist this year and we approached her because she has a really amazing practice when it comes to installations, place-based work, and she thinks really deeply about the stories that are involved in the places that she does her installations. And this installation is really deeply connected to the lives that came through the barracks and as you can see, I'm just surrounded by names and by people's stories. And that's the greatest thing about this particular artwork is that all the visitors and all the viewers can really just immerse themselves in these stories. My ancestor was Rose Sherry. She was a laundress from Carrickmacross, County Monaghan, and an Irish orphan. She traveled 17,180 kilometers. William Buchanan, born into slavery in Jamaica, Convicted of rebellion, his sentence was life. Joseph Antonio was a seaman from Lisbon in Portugal. He arrived on the Moffat in 1836, aged 35. The reason why the barracks were built is as a place for a large number of people to pass through, and each individual has a story. So it was really, in the end, the stories I wanted to focus on as much as possible. Each person's story that's represented on one of the poles, uh, the signposts of the installation, is intriguing, sometimes a bit shocking, but together very telling of the, um, the, the, the early days of our colony and where we find ourselves now. It really began here. So we're standing in a forest of convict stories right now, but there's also immigrant women, Irish orphans and asylum women on the other side of the building. The graphic realisation of the work, its physicality, uh, which is a series of signposts or uh, pointing in, in the direction from where individuals came, which is mostly of course to the United Kingdom, there is a phrase, a forest of, of, of signs, and it actually feels literally like uh, visualisation of a forest of signs of our early individuals who came to the colony. Anne Brady was an Irish orphan. She came from County Kevin in Ireland, which is 17,288 kilometres from Sydney. Catherine Fox travelled 17,156 kilometres. She was a nursemaid from Killyman County Armagh and an Irish orphan. Each of the posts has the name along the top and then the distance from where they came from to this spot exactly. So you really get a sense of the distance people came, how this became a hub of that history of people coming to this country. So what Fiona's done with, with this commission is really bring to life a lot of the stories of, of quite amazing people and not only their time here at the barracks, but then what happened to them after.